Okay, in this video, we're going to make going to go ahead and make the modifications to the code to get it to auto auto run a couple more times. Uh, very simple. So if you just look at the code, um, you know it it ha if it's equal to ten, it does a start delay. Uh, it homes the servo. After it homes the servo, it comes in um, basically goes to twenty, and then we go to fifty. Uh, fifty does the first time cam, and then it goes to sixty. Does the second. It counts twice. And then when it goes to 70 and is equal to 70, it goes back to zero. So therefore, you have to enter in a 10 again to get it to start. So what we're going to do to get it to continue to the next stage is we're going to just simply change that to 10. Um, then we're going to change the start delay to 5 seconds. Uh, I'm sorry, let's just go 2 seconds. No reason to going very high. Um, so now let's test it, right? As we should. Okay, two seconds. Everything starts. Um, let's pull up our trend to see where we're going. See if it works. Okay, so we're doing our first cam, our second cam, our third cam should be starting, and fourth cam. And then we should come back and it should basically go to a little pause, wait two seconds, and then start right back. And it did, so, um, you know, we just basically made the process continue. Um, and this little section right here was a two second break. That was a two second off. So if that helps you understand the uh, start timer right here, we can actually widen that to prove that theory. I'll show you that. So now we just went to a longer time period right here. So you see that that space that gives us separation, right? That gives us plenty of separation to understand uh, what we're doing with the code. So um, that also uh, gives us a continuous loop. So now we have a continuous loop and we are running. So we don't have to worry about um, you know stopping and adjusting the code anymore. Um, you know, we have a, a continuous loop and on the next video being that this is very short I just wanted to show kind of explain the code a little bit this is not the detailed explanation of the code um, this is just a continuation added section um, so um, we will carry on to the very next section which I will be talking about the time cam instruction itself explaining the details of it and how to lay one out and get one programmed and as soon as we do that, we will uh, come back and explain the code in detail, how it is set up, how it's working, and get everything finalized. Okay, so um, this will be a very short video right here. I just wanted to kind of, you know, um, get a continuous loop process working. And that way we can kind of come in here and practice and trend things and get things going and get a better understanding as we go. All right, so I'll go ahead and end this video, and we'll start on the next one. Thank you.